All right. So uh, up next, let's talk about missing. Right. Um, I was okay, actually well, surprised I, uh, that you did not see that. I did not. Um, see the reason being is because it is a standalone sequel to, if I'm not mistaken, it is a one sequel? of two. That's what they say. Yes. All right, actually, okay. actually, I will. I will say yes. It is. Okay. okay. I will say okay. why in my review. I'll say why in my review. Right. Sure. But yeah. Um. Yeah, a, a sequel of sorts to one of two of your favorite films of 2018. Because I'll never forget 2018, you had Searching and the Blind one. Spotting up there yeah. as your number one. Tied number one, yeah. yeah Tied as number one. Yeah. Uh, for me, Blind Spotting was my favorite um, of, of, of that year. It was my favorite of the one of my top 10 of the decade. But yeah, um, I, I really dug Searching and then we'll actually watch it over again in preparation for this. Yeah. And yeah, I, I, I love this film though, right? Uh, what, what, of course, makes it work though. Um, is the genre of it? Is the screen life? I didn't know this term until you know after watching um searching, right? Yeah, the idea that you could use you know um you know you could use computer screens and apps and whatnot to tell a story and tell a really cohesive right. story, yeah. mm -hmm. tell a really compelling story, right? Um, and in this case, yeah, it's a thriller. In this case, with searching, it was with John Cho's character, I believe. It, no, um. John Cho, yes, John Cho, yes. Yeah, yeah, I believe, yeah. I'm not mistaken, this is the first Hollywood thriller, um, thriller sorry, headlined by an Asian American actor. Wow, okay, progress, right. right? Look at that, right? But yeah, just how they were able to tell this this father's story in terms of trying to find his uh, missing daughter, um, and and make it so compelling as well too, right? Whilst using you know contemporary you know uh, means of you know social inter uh, social media and interaction, right? You know, so you had uh, they uh, they was real pushing there was there was pushing Apple there eh? there was pushing a lot of Apple, right? Yeah, okay, yeah. If you notice early on, there was Windows, right? But as you saw when when you saw it really pick up, it's real Apple there. Eh? It's iPhone and it's Macs. <laughs> The same thing here with, with Mr. Boy. They, they, boy, Apple, boy, Apple. Is, you know, it's brought to you by Apple, right? That's what it is, right? But, yeah, I was so glad to see that film in theaters. I would say that was that made but, for uh, sorry yeah, about one of the best uh, viewing experiences of that year, in my opinion. So, yeah, the, uh, the, uh, Apple. Yeah, well, that is a normal thing in all, uh, um, what do we call it? In thing, Apple. Uh, oh, guys. well, Sony, yeah. Because it's a Sony film, so, you know. Right. Uh, yeah. No, but good guys, good guys have to have Apple products. Like, that's the whole thing. You want your Apple phone in your movie? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and bad guys, if, you, if you're, yeah, if you're a good guy, you have to have an Apple. You have no bad guys using Apple. That's the whole thing in Hollywood, that's a thing, apparently. Right, right, right. Yeah, because yeah. the, the, la the last, the last burner, well, you know, the last thing you want as a burner phone is, is an is a iPhone, right? Like, why would you throw it away? Why would you throw away an iPhone, right? But anyway, right? But yeah, um, so when this film came out, now I was like, all right, we, we back at it again, right? And I, oh, what I would say, right, just, just to get into the synopsis, right, it's more like a reverse of, um, of the, um, conceit of searching, right? And in a yeah. great way, in my opinion, right? So we have the character of June Allen, who is played by Storm Reed, right? Um, and we are introduced to her mom, who is played by Nia Long, who is still looking fine, you know, for her age, right? And they established early on, similar to, to, um, to, to searching, right? That yeah, um, the well, you know, her husband was alive, but then something happened, right? Um, I don't want to spoil it beyond that, right? So June is pretty much going through life now as a you know as a as a you know as a young woman now, uh, with a, a single parent, right? But the thing is now is that her mom now hooked up with this Asian guy, right? Which is really interesting. I was like, all right, okay, um, played by Ken Leung. I was like, hey, right, you this, right. all right, okay, okay, cool. I have to give the show credit for incorporating um, Asian actors into this as well too, right? Because yeah, I mean, even though this film have a few black um, actors, um, there are a few Asian people in it too. So like, all right, yeah, yeah, keep keep the diversity going, and a few um, you know, Hispanic characters as well too, right? Similar to the last one, right? So uh, yeah, one day, well, you know, Grace, well, you know, Grace and Kevin, right? That's that's a new guy, right? We you know stepfather to be decide here as well. We we go to go on a vacation. We're gonna go to to Colombia and have fun, right? Meanwhile, June, you're going to stay here, watch your house, and, you know, when, when it's well, after, the day after Mother's Day, you're going to come and pick me up at the airport, right? So June being June is just like, you know what, let me just bring my friends over, we're going to have fun, lime and whatnot, but before that, she's going out part, you know, that kind of stuff, right? And, you know, of course, on Mother's Day, she she um, hangs out as well, too, she she um, does it, she does that thing as well, right? Um, and it's all to hide the fact that, you know, her father is not in her life anymore, right? So um, right afterwards, no. Um, well, you know, on the day of well, the day where where basically she has to go to to meet her mom at the airport. She's there at the airport, and nobody shows up, right? 
and she's of course texting, calling, FaceTiming, no no word, right? And then slowly but surely she realizes, well, yeah, um, you know, um, Grace, as in, you know, June's mom, did not leave um, Columbia, right? So mm-hmm. through some circumstances, she hooks up with this private detective who is played by, um, I, I didn't even expect him to be in this, uh, Joaquim D. Almedia, right? Al- okay. Almeida, sir, right? Yeah, if you remember him, he was the bad guy in Fast Five, right? We talk about the, you know, the new trailer and whatnot, right? right with right. Um, that guy's son, you know, pl- um, you know, played by, um, you know, Aquaman, right? You know, coming back, coming back for revenge, right? But anyway, right? So he plays the, the character of, um, of Javier, right? And yeah, um, you know, they, they are helping each other out. They actually use WhatsApp to, to communicate with each other. Um, and I'll talk about the use of apps in this show, right? But yeah, um, essentially what we just get is just, well, now the daughter is looking for the mother, right? So it's a flip again of what we saw in um, Searching, where the father is looking for the daughter. Here in this case, is the daughter looking for the mom, right? But then that leads to uh, a big piece of chicanery, which I don't want to spoil. Uh, the beauty of this show is just going in as blind as it can, because I didn't even watch a trailer for this. I just saw like you know some some still shots like all right we're doing this and you know storm reading it all right cool 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 i can watch a show too all right cool but um yeah it's just seeing how this show plays out right and i will say right um if you're a fan of searching then you are absolutely absolutely going to enjoy missing um okay. missing was excellent in my opinion right now i will still put searching above this too I would, this just really because this was one of the first times that I saw a, a screen like film, right? Especially in theaters. Like for me, the theatrical experience of it totally worked for me, right? Um, just mainly because you're just seeing social media chats and you know desktop, you know, images or whatnot right in front of your face. There was something really interesting about that, and just seeing you know FaceTime chats and whatnot right in front of your of your face. Right? Yeah, with the, I think the, the, something the, really the interesting switching. about that. Why why such a worked is because it was just a novel way to do this. Like I don't think we we was getting the whole online using modern technology stuff for movies with yeah. other other movies and other thrillers. But like all of them was just kind of falling flat and just like to be honest, logically just kind of stupid, right? Uh, but and, and that's all dated, I, I would say. If I'm yeah, exactly. It is, it is what older people think younger people do with the technology now. But with searching, why searching works so well is that yeah, it felt plausible. Like you know, and then and then why searching worked is that it ran through every scenario with the thing and then come up with a really surprisingly solid and interesting result for the whole thing now in my humble opinion um, right right yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah well you're right right yeah um now, now what i will say though um just looking back at searching and watching missing now you kind of have to have your disbelief your suspension of disbelief you had to suspend your disbelief sorry just a little bit just a right. little bit right yeah not because of the use yeah, of technology yeah. right not any in terms of the apps and whatnot, right? But because of when you actually see what the real situation is going on, right? You kind of had a suspended display just a little bit, right? Because in the real world... Yeah, for missing as well, right? Right, Because in the real world, things won't play out like that, right? They won't play out like that. But, 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 in the world of these shows, yes, it can, right? So, don't go into the show expecting, okay, this is going to be real life and this is how really, you know, these are how these apps will work and how in real time these things will work and then, especially when it comes to what the major reveal is. Again, I don't want to spoil what it is, right? Because when I saw it for the first, like, when they actually see what it is, like, all right, really? That's what it is though? But when it plays out, when it continues to play, I was like, okay, all right, all right. Now I see how it played out, right? Again, that, 100% 100% realistic, but I could see into because again, you have to go into this knowing of the genre, it's a thriller as well, too, right? If right, you look right, at it right. from the lens of this is a thriller, all right, yes, I could see this play, you know, like this, all right. And I will say, compared to, to, to searching, um, the third act in this, too, is really, really intense, though. I would say, in terms of just like ramping up the intensity that we got. Well, yeah, we, we got to an extent in searching, right? Um, here, boy, they ramp that up, boy, to the point yeah. where. You get a couple of jump scares. There was a couple of moments where I legit jump as well too. And like okay. the audience I went, I, I saw it with, you know, it wasn't a packed audience, but you know, I saw it with some people there. Yeah, they jumped too. And you know, that's how they was ramping it up too, right? Uh so when they say it's rated PG 30 for strong violence, boy, they they they're not kidding. They're, they're really not kidding there, right? Um, so about the 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 apps and the technology itself, right? Uh, uh, yes, um uh, similar to searching, the it's the use of it, it's um the use of them, sorry, uh uh uh, uh plausible um you, you really have to applaud 
you know, um, you know, <laughs> you have to applaud Mac users, boy. Like they will right, have right. No- notes all up on the desk, on, on the on the on the on the desktop um wall. Sorry, on the on the wall and whatnot. Um, they will have the FaceTime up, so you know, like when you close and you'll say, oh, when it restarts, everything that you had up there will will show back up. Yeah, you so you will just see a bunch of apps. You just <laughs> you just see a bunch of notes all over the place, boy. Yeah, but like 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 like. Apple users really, really pimp that that shit out a lot, though. I must say, though, and I'll say, right. I just make the joke here, right? Um, if you are an Apple user, boy, whether it's an iPhone or whether it's a Mac, boy, learn them shits. Mm. You have to learn how every single app, when it comes to social media and interaction, works, boy. Because next thing you know, you will be in a situation like what June is, where you have to remember, oh, I could call somebody here. I could copy and paste this number into this right, app, right, and I could right, call right, this right, number right. directly. You had to know all that shit, though, right? Because, right. yeah, um, I will lie, though. And, and, and it plays out very well, too. Again, you had to suspend your disbelief a little bit, right? But I just love how intelligent of a character um, June is, right? Because, yeah, she knows, okay, Okay, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. Like I wouldn't think, all right, I need to sync my WhatsApp with, with this other person so I could call you and I could screen time with you. I, I don't even know that, right? And I, I barely use WhatsApp, right? But yeah, to know all that shit, boy, it's like wow, boy, like dog. I, I, I need to like, you know, go in the about page and you know learn up like I don't know, go on go on YouTube and learn how to use them things, but right. Because yeah. yeah, if I was in a well, situation I mean, young, like young I would people, not know what to do. Young, right? young people, I mean Gen X well, Gen Zers are much more better digital natives than, than I am. Uh, you know, when it comes to like this kind of stuff. Like I'm very good in front of a computer, but when it comes to phones and things, I'm just terrible at that shit. So like yeah, it makes that, sense. That is, that is actually true, folks. <laughs> right. So Sorry. yeah, so it 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 is the Jesse generational aspect of it in terms of how much you use a phone or whatnot. Like I, like having a young character be competent in that sense will make not like a far fetched thing for you. It might it might be still competence porn, but it still makes enough sense. So it's fine. Yeah, and, and speaking of that too, I love how the show treats its characters as well, dude. Um, so I'd imagine if you're at a certain age and you have no clue how these things work, you will just probably be confused or bored by what it is you're seeing. But just how everything plays out, at, at least from my perspective, I felt was totally plausible. Um, just the decisions made, and just and especially similar to, to searching. Um, that's how the film reveals certain things, right? How it keeps everything like on this computer screen, but it knows when to move away. It right. knows what to show and what it knows exactly how to use its imagery. Yeah, absolutely works here, right? Um, without spoiling anything, there's a couple of clever references, right? There's one great reference to searching by. When I saw that, I was like, that is fucking brilliant. I love that. And it just touches on where we are right now in terms of media consumption. That's all I'll say. But that was right. that was so brilliant. And then they play it again. They do a, another version of it. But with this story the here that we see in Missing, I was like, yeah, this absolutely works. This absolutely works, right? Because visually, it will, it will be like, wait, but okay, we're doing something a bit different here. But no, it's like you're telling you, no, 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 no. This is what's really going on. And I thought that was so perfect, right? Um... And speaking of searches, it's actually a good thing that I rewatched that because they add, there is actually a character who shows back up here, right? Which is this um, podcast, right? Because if you remember in Searching, and they did the same thing here in Missing, yeah, they, okay. they, they, they over-centralized the case, right? So right. once the police drops a statement and let's see let the public know oh this is what really going on yes similar to searching everybody goes up online and say oh this is what i think this is why i think so you right. have this particular podcaster who was talking about oh well this is what i really think we're doing blah 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 right. yeah he shows back up if i'm not mistaken he the shows back guy. up okay, here no problem. in this i'm right. like hey word i like this yeah yeah, yeah. so it, it it totally fits within the world here right? but yeah again I, I love how the show just just touches on you know sensationalism um th- th- those moments that i mentioned earlier which i don't want to spoil shows you just how far that sensationalism goes right Good. but yeah other than that um everybody else does a thing near long does a thing uh what the 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 almeida he he was great in this as well right um there's an antagonist. I'm not gonna say who it is, but yeah, I, I thought that the antagonist was was great as well too. And that actually adds to the really intense moments in the film, right? So um in closing, I would say again, if you enjoyed searching, then you will absolutely love missing, right? Uh, I still have searching up there uh, because I just felt the story was, um, I would say, a lot more realistic. Like you could imagine, yes, you know, um, 
uh, someone's daughter could go missing like this. And just seeing how the father went out of his way, and you really saw that too, eh? especially with the interaction with his brother, if you remember the show, right? Yeah, just how far he would go to get his daughter. That 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 totally works, right? Here is, all right, my mom missing. I really, really need to find my mom, right? But you had to understand from the perspective of this Gen Z, like, all right, I just need to, to think of every tool and every trick I could think of just to do this. And just how far she goes with this, though, was, was great, right? Um, when the reveal happens, though, again, yeah, yeah, again, you had to suspend the disbelief a little bit, right? But again, just given the genre of it, it, it totally works. And it really got some genuine, genuine thrills out of this, right? Yeah. But I will just close this as, as a theatrical experience. Yeah, this, this totally worked for me, man. It, it took me back to, you know, it just reminded me why I enjoyed searching so much, seeing it on the big screen. And yes, I will wholeheartedly recommend seeing it on big screen. If you want to watch it home when it comes out on VOD, do it, but it's something about the theatrical experience of seeing this that that will right. that that will click, right? So yeah, rating wise, I'm gonna give this a strong four to five, man. I I nice. I mean, it's early in the year, but I honestly could see this showing up on my best of. I I think that it okay, is nice. that okay. great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Um, well, I'll give it a try here. Yeah, and I'll close this. I honestly don't think that the creators involved, right? I, I should I've, I've got to mention too, right? Um, if I'm not mistaken, the editors of Searching are the ones who wrote the script and directed it. So it's not the actual director, um, okay. Anish Chag- um, Chaganti from before, right? It's Will Merrick and Nick Jones. I think that they did the, the, the editing last time, right? And I forgot to mention too, editing is still on point though. Because again, you have to know exactly what image you're using and exactly what you're telling with each and every shot in this film. Eh? And this show does it so masterful, man. Similar to the last film, right? But yeah, um... Just knowing that these guys got a chance to make this film, though, yeah, yeah, it totally works, right? But um, just in closing, I, I don't think that we will see more of these films in the near future. Like, yes, they they are great, right? They, they make for solid, you know, um, whodunit, you know, mystery stuff, edgy seat kind of stuff, right? But I don't see, like, we're going to get a franchise out of this. I, I, I don't think it makes sense. I don't think it's... It, 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 yeah, I just don't think that it makes sense at all, right? But uh, maybe in the next few years when some new app comes out or app, sorry, or some update, I guess, to, you know, um, Apple or whatnot comes out, even to Windows and all too, maybe yeah. we might get to one. But I don't see a series of sorts nah. coming out of this. I, right. Yeah, it, yeah, nah, nah, nah. But, but this is a real deal, though. And yeah, I can't recommend this enough. By, by all means, definitely check out this thing. 